And so it seems like veteran starting pitcher Jake Odorizzi's market is starting to settle and teams are starting to come a little bit more clear. And so according to John Heyman on MLB Network segment Hot Stove, the Angels, the Phillies, and the Cardinals all seem to be potential players for Jake Odorizzi. And now of course that wasn't word for word what John Heyman said, but that was basically the idea. Uh, all of these three teams are interested in his services, and I really do hope that Jake Odorizzi's market is taking form because of course all winter uh, we haven't really heard too much on Jake Odorizzi and finally we have uh, three teams that are supposedly interested and possibly more. I'm not exactly sure on that just yet, but I think it's about time because Odorizzi over the course of his career has been a very solid starter for both the Rays and the Twins. And so 2019 was a pretty good highlight year for Jake Odorizzi. And 2019 was also an all-star season. I believe the only all-star season that Jake Odorizzi has had in his career. But he pitched around a three and a half DRA. Uh, he pitched 30 games and also had around a 1.2 whip, so not too shabby for Jake Odorizzi. But his 3.51 ERA in 2019 is, I believe, his second lowest ERA in his career. And the 1.208 whip is his career lowest. And so think about that. That was just in 2019, 2020, obviously not a great season for Jake Odorizzi. If you're a Twins fan and you watch Jake, or maybe if you're a Tampa Bay fan and uh, you were trying to catch up, or maybe you're just a Jake Odorizzi fan, then you know that Jake Odorizzi has had a hard time staying healthy in 2020, and beyond that, just didn't have that much success, and I do think that it was because of the injuries that he had. And now, most of them were really minor, so I don't think that they're going to really affect his trade value, so to speak, and that's good for Jake Odorizzi, because if there was some type of injury that happened that was bigger, obviously it would affect the value of any player on the market. But talking about Jake Odorizzi and his repertoire, he boasts a four-seam fastball at around 92 to 94 miles per hour, and that seems to be more of his out pitch. Uh, he likes to pitch up in the zone with it, inside on guys, and he seems to get some swings and misses. And now Jake Odorizzi isn't exactly a big strikeout guy, but he's a guy that can go out there and get a strikeout when he needs one. Also, he has a splitter, a cutter, and a curveball. I've seen that cutter, and it does work. It has good movement and really throws some hitters off being a little bit slower than his fastball. And having a good fastball that he has that goes the opposite direction of his cutter really adds to the idea of tunneling. Because when he pitches, his pitches move all different directions, coming from the same release point, and that is devastating when you're up at the plate as a hitter because it lessens your chance of going up there and getting a hit unless you're a guy like Mike Trout or Mookie Betts or any of the other big stars in the game. But I think where Jake is successful is uh, him just utilizing that fastball because it seems to be working for him and having the good tail movement that he has on it uh, allows him to pitch deep into games and he's able to pitch off a lot of his different pitches that he has, uh, which is what a veteran should do. Uh, you know, you're able to utilize your well-rounded repertoire and you're able to come at hitters with different weapons and different sequences to keep them, you know, off balance. But not only does he have a good pitch selection, of course starters usually do, but he also has a great attitude in the clubhouse. Seems like a very humble guy, uh, pretty quiet, but goes about his work and just seems like a really down-to-earth guy. I I've seen some interviews on MLB Network and just really does seem like a genuine guy. So I think any clubhouse that has a guy like that is really in a good position when it comes to the chemistry of the ball team. And now since we've talked about Jake Odorizzi and his repertoire and his stats from 2019 and how he didn't have such a good 2020, how's he gonna do in 2021? And now of course that's going to depend on uh, the ballpark because it does play a little bit you know you have your hitter and your pitcher ballparks and just the environment around you the fan base but honestly i think jake's a pretty chill guy i think wherever he's going to go he's going to do well uh, he just he knows how to handle the big moments and being at the top of that rotation for the time that he was obviously means a lot and so getting into the meat and potatoes with the predictions I think Jake's going to pitch to around a 3.8 to a 4 ERA, which isn't really that shabby. Uh, he's a guy who usually sits between uh, 3.5 and a little over a 4 ERA. So, you know, having him at a, around a 3.8 to a 4, I think is good. I think it's going to lean more towards a 3.8, just because I would not knock Jake Odorizzi. I think he's going to do well. But I do think that he's going to have around 150, 155 strikeouts and around 165 innings of work. So 
with those numbers, I know it's simple, uh, but it seems like a pretty good season based on those numbers. Now, these are just predictions based on what I think, and I didn't really look at Bauer units. I didn't look at spin rate. I, I didn't really look at that stuff. I just judged it based off of the situations that I've seen him in and the pitch selection that he has, obviously, the way his stuff plays against hitters. And so I used all that stuff along with the career numbers. And really, I just meshed it all together into my judgment. But if these predictions do hold true, I do think that he can get between a two and a three year deal, uh, $10 million AAV. And I think that would be a nice deal for a guy like Jake Odorizzi. But as always, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Do you think that Jake Odorizzi will go to the Phillies, maybe to the Angels, maybe even to the hometown Cardinals? But yeah, let me know in the comments and whether you think uh, he will do well this upcoming season or wh whether you think he's going to be riddled with injuries similar to 2020. Let's hope not. Let's cross our fingers. But as always, if you like this type of content, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And hit that notification bell so that you are notified with the videos that I come out with. I will also leave a link to my Instagram down in the description below if you want to check that out. I do post different baseball stuff as well as YouTube channel updates. I don't always post on my social media, but it's there if you want to follow. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Major League Talk, and I will see you in the next video.